Friday everyone and welcome to Jaja's Cooking the Shoe Box. Today we're making fake Reese's Cups and I want to give a big shout out to my sister-in-law Jill and my niece Jillian. They saw a picture of this on Instagram and asked if I'd make this on one of my shows. So here you go guys and enjoy. And we're going to be starting off with our chocolate and our butter. But I'm going to show you what chocolates I use. I use the Lilies. Uh, there's no sugar added and I love this. You can get the dark chocolate. I think it comes in a lot of different varieties. You're going to need two bags for this. This took a full bag and maybe a quarter of the second bag. So we're going to microwave this. Um, this has two cups of the, of the chocolate and then you have five tablespoons of butter. Now, if you don't wanna use butter, you can always use coconut oil, but you wanna use a good fat. So I'm gonna microwave this 30 seconds, and then I will stir it, and then keep doing that for 30 seconds until it's melted. So I cook this for a minute and 15 seconds. Now, you don't wanna cook this for the entire minute 15 seconds because you'll burn the chocolate. You wanna cook it for every 30 seconds, you want to take it out and you want to mix it really well. And I can't stress that enough because you do not want to burn this chocolate. You have to start over again. And then I'm going to use a half of a tablespoon and I'm going to put this into my mold, which is, this is um, silicone. Then I have a cutting board. And the reason why this is on a cutting board is because if you try to lift this up with the chocolate in there, it's going to be a huge mess. And I'm gonna put this in the freezer for like 15, 20 minutes just to freeze the first part of our mock Reese's Cups. So here we go. First one. I'm sometimes a little messy, but you know what? That's a lot of fun. Who cares? have this in here now and as you can see it's just kind of clumped in there so I'm gonna just kind of just bang it on the table a little bit and look how smooth that is now I'm gonna put this in the freezer so the chocolate has sat in the freezer for 20 minutes now we're going to add our peanut butter and you just want to do one teaspoon each of these and the peanut butter that you want to use is going to be an all-natural peanut butter. You don't want stuff with like sugar and um, all these bad oils. You want to use a peanut butter that just has peanut in it. Just clean it up just a little bit. Now we can. Once again, I'm going to clean out the peanut butter, and we can see then if we need to add a little bit more, one or two of them. Now we're going to add some more chocolate on top. Once again, this is one, uh, this is half a tablespoon. And then we're going to carefully just kind of flatten out the chocolate and make sure all the peanut butter is covered. Now there's something I like to do, um, like on one of these I add a little bit of kosher salt. I like the little bit of saltiness to this and I just sprinkle just very sparingly on there. There we go. And we're going to freeze this again and we're going to freeze it for a good hour. So here's the finished product, our fake Reese's Cups. These are great fat bombs. Thank you so much for joining me today on Jaja's Cooking in a Shoebox. Please like and subscribe to my channel.